Good, how are you? I'm doing good. So, tell us how you got into Funkos. Um, so, uh, I someone gave me Funko as a, as a gift one time, and uh, I thought it was really cool. I bought, like, you know, a couple more, and I don't know, I guess the obsessive compulsive side of me just started buying, like, a bunch of them, and then I started getting into buying, like, expensive ones. And then before I knew it, like, I had, like, 700 Funkos in my house. And, like, yeah. So, yeah, here I am now. <laughs> well, hi. What was your, what was the gift? What was the first one they gave you? Um, it was an Oswald Cobblepot from Gotham. Nice. Yeah. How, many you, how many do you have now? You said 750? Um, I had that. I do oh. a lot of mystery boxes and stuff like that. So, and that was to get rid of some of the ones I have, you know, like it was kind of taking up my entire house. So. <laughs> What's your favorite one? Um, I have a glow in the dark Martian from Mars Attacks. That's definitely my, oh, I'm sorry, Puff. That's definitely my favorite. Um, my dog is here, but, uh, yeah, so he's worth like, I think like 600, a little over $600 or something like that. So definitely wow. my favorite grail. All right. Is there one that you want that you haven't been able to get yet? Yeah, the metallic alien. I definitely want to, like, kind of do the whole uh, alien collection. Or Martian, sorry. The Martian collection. All right. Um, yeah, tell us about your, what did you say, Muay Thai? I probably butchered that. Yeah, thing. Muay Thai, yeah. yeah. So it's, kinda, it's like kickboxing. It's just you with knees and elbows. So... Oh. And there's more traditional stuff with it and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I've been training for, like, a little over two years. And um, I have my first actual amateur debut that's going to be, like, on TV and all that good stuff um, this month on the 28th. So I'm training for that. I'm about to actually, you know, I, I'm a coach. I'm a Muay Thai coach and, a, you know, personal training coach and stuff like that. My gym right now. So I'm about to go to work right now. And I train for about three hours every day. All right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's. I seen a little bit of um, a couple of your videos on your Instagram. It looks tough. Yeah, it never really gets you know, never really gets easier, but it's fun. All right. What what channel is it going to be on? So so we can watch you. I do not know, but I can send you a link of uh, if anybody looks up Cagezilla or TCB. Mm -hmm. Um, all the information should be there. So they have an Instagram that's just Cagezilla. Or, yeah. All right. What would you What would you tell somebody that's trying to get into Muay Thai? Um, gotta be tough. <laughs> it's really fun, actually. Like, you know, Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing is really, really fun. You know, if anybody like goes to the gym, goes to Planet Fitness, or you know, whatever, and Gold's Gym, and he likes to work out, it's not the same as actually having somebody like you know coach you, and not just that, but being able to like release aggression and stuff like that on a bag instead of doing it harmfully like at home mentally or whatever so like i think it's something awesome that everybody should try and it's nothing bad to learn how to defend yourself either so right yeah how did you get into it um i just randomly looked up online one day like boxing gyms in my area and i went there and i really liked it and i was really good at it so i just kind of like never stopped going like went like every single day and I like bought, spent like all this money on personal training, and so yeah, now I'm definitely gonna put it to use. All right. So you trained for two years before your fight? Did you do any yeah. fight between? No, not really. Like I've done some hard sparring with people, or whatever you would consider, you know, fight. I've had opportunities to do a couple fights, but you know, I had Napota pull out right before, and um, you know, just opportunities that didn't really match up. So. Other than that, like, we're jumping right into amateur, and um, I think it'll be all right. And if not amateur, that's what the whole career is about. It's just kind of like losing and winning, and then when you go pro, that's whenever your record actually matters. So. Like, are you going to have, like, head guards and stuff, or is it just? I don't think for this one, because the last time I went and watched one of my teammates fight, um, they didn't have any headgear on. It was a Muay Thai fight, not MMA. So they said I had to wear headgear, but I don't really like it. But shin guards, yes, and uh, there's no elbows allowed in amateur. I think there's knees, just no elbows. All right, so it's so it's just like boxing, but you can use your elbows and knees. You can't grapple or slam or. Yeah, you can't like pick anybody up or wrestle, and you can do lots of kicks. 
Oh, nice awesome. legs and knees, yeah. Sound, that sounds pretty fun. It's very fun, yeah. <laughs> you're a very interesting person that collects all <laughs> and you're and you're a, well, I guess can I say kickboxer? Muay Thai, fine. yeah, kickboxer's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right. Thing, pretty much. Because I don't want to put your Muay Thai. <laughs> I don't want to make any Muay Thai people mad. No, it's just right. the same thing. It's good. All right. Um, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. You got anything else you want to tell us about yourself? Um, I really like Glow in the Dark Funko Pops. Um, so those are like my favorite. You know, I sell mystery boxes, obviously. Um, yeah. That's kind of like one of the things I'm kind of known for. And I like, you know, getting rid of this giant collection that I have. So. Um, you know, I really enjoy the Funko community. People are pretty nice on here. You know, so far, I've encountered like mainly only nice people. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, where can people find your mystery boxes? I mean, they can either send me a direct message, or usually I make a post every week. I have like uh, another mystery box dropping this week with the metallic toucan Sam and like a couple other uh, like yummy mummy and stuff like that so i like to put lots of grails in my boxes and stuff like that and i limit my boxes to like 20 or something small not like 50 or 100 or anything like that because you know i want people to have an actual chance at winning something so all right yeah we might try to get one off of you look what i picked up the other day just by accident just trying to find the green goblin venomized green goblin and got Hey, that's really cool. I seen that on your page, and I, it's yeah, it's glow in the dark. So, and I see your Doctor Sweet in the background. Oh yep, I got. It. I changed my my set around here so you can see it all the time. Um, shout out to the One Shot Customs for sending me this. I don't know if you can see that. Wow, that, is that a custom? Yep. Oh wow, that's really cool. I love it. First, first order executioner, nice. Mm-hmm. Scott, I think that's the guy from 007, isn't it? Head on a stormtrooper. That's what it looks like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love your comic book collection too. I have like a little bit. I have a huge comic book collection, but there's they're all. Pre oh man, my dog just like shed all over me. But yeah, all my comic books. I have like a giant, giant sack. I collect the comic books before I collect the Funkos. But the thing about comic books is I never read them. Like, I would collect, like, hundreds and hundreds. I would buy so much money. I, like, spent so much money at the comic book store. And I would just, like, stack them all up and not read them. So when I started, like, collecting Funkos, because I seen them at the, you know, comic book store, I was like, oh, okay, I actually can, you know, do something with this. So, uh, yeah. Tell us about your comic book collecting. So you just, you just bought, like, did you just like the covers, or you just bought them all up? Um, I like to buy a lot of Batman ones. I love Batman. So I would buy lots of Batman ones. Um, I'm trying to remember what collection I really liked, but uh, I went and got it signed. It was like the one where like Batman and Catwoman like fall in love. It was a recent one. Um, I did like the Batman metal comic books that came out with the metal covers. You know what I mean? They were actual metal, but they were shiny. I really like collecting those. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was just the covers or just Batman. You know, like anything Batman I would buy. So, um, I just didn't have time to read, you know, and I don't have like that great of an attention span to read. So that was the only problem. Right. All right. Yeah. The Batman medals, I fell in love with it. We got, got the drown the other day at GameStop. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. Wow. I think it's like Aquaman, if Aquaman, Batman, I don't know. Exactly how <laughs> metal works. I still got to read them. Um, I see. Well, I guess do you have any shout outs for anybody? Uh, so, yeah, sure. So, like, Funko Photo Fanatic. She's really awesome. She does logos. She did my logo that I have right now that you um, posted a, an Instagram picture of earlier. Um, she's awesome. She's a really sweet girl. Uh, my best friend, Denver Funko. That's, uh, he's my bestie ever since we started doing this whole Funko thing. Um, he's always been really nice to me. And um, excuse me if I'm forgetting anybody, but I can't think of anyone else. All right. You want to tell everybody? Shout out to you, you know. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Can you tell everybody where to find you on Instagram? Um, at the Funko Queen. So just type in the Funko Queen on Instagram and you should be able to find me. And uh, yeah, nobody else has my name. So that's pretty, I think that's pretty legit. I have like my own like 
Oh, this is in it. But I have like my own custom pop protectors, so I'm hoping those go around and people start getting to know me because you know, pop protectors float around, people sell stuff, trade, buy, whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, we might have to get a couple from those from you so we can put them in our set back here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, well, thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. I really appreciate you having me on here. It, it means a lot. Oh, yeah, it's not a problem. Talk with you later. All right, talk to you later.